Greetings from Texas. It's April. And you know what that means? It's Easter bunny hunting season here in Texas. This is going to be my video submission for the um, April Camp Challenge Alliance, which is catch and cook. Now I saw an Easter bunny out here a few days ago. Um, I saw a white one. Sometimes they're pink or purple. Um, we'll try to locate their nest and then we'll track them down. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I have a bear recurve, 45 pound recurve bow. And we're going to be using these game shocker game tips because we don't want to ruin any meat. All right, so I'm going to string up my bow. Oh, I have a bow stringer here. This is kind of a long bow, so to shorten this bow stringer, I'm going to use two feet. And we're just going to pull up. And there we go. Okay, my bow is knocked. Let's go ahead and uh, look for that bunny. All right, we're gonna look for some trails through these flower beds. There's one. Gonna follow it. All right, there's the Easter bunny nest. And he, see where he goes out through there so let's follow some trails We got them. Let's go ahead and clean them up and cook them. All right, it's time to cook our rabbit. So here we have it. We've got the liver. I have it seasoned with salt and pepper and Lowry seasoned salt. And um, kind of let it sit in here for about a half an hour. Soak up that flavor. We're gonna prep our vegetables for our rabbit stew. So we have potatoes, Vidalia onion, celery, garlic, carrot. We got diced tomatoes, black pepper, Italian seasoning. We already have the Lowry's on, on it. Uh, Worcestershire, beef broth, paprika, which is going to be our primary seasoning, and bay leaf. So let's get our um, vegetables prepped, ready to go. And then we'll dredge the rabbit in flour, brown it and then put everything in the pot. Okay, it's time to brown the rabbit. Smells good, folks. All right, we're gonna add our vegetables and our seasoning. We had a teaspoon of the um, Italian seasoning, some pepper, a little bit more salt, a little bit of seasoning, salt, and paprika, and the bits and pieces. We're gonna add our tomatoes. A little bit of brown sugar. All right, some Worcestershire. Our broth. A couple bay leaves. Okay, we're gonna uh, get this bubbling, and then we're gonna cover it and put it in the oven, 350 degree oven for one hour. All right, we have a little bit of white wine. We're gonna 
throw that in there. All right, we have bubblefication. So we're gonna shut this off here, cover it, and we go in our preheated oven for an hour, hour and a half. We'll check it after an hour. Let's grab some parsley here. Okay, it's been one hour. We're gonna take a look. tasting here. Rabbit's a little lean. We're going to add some butter. What I'm looking for are the um, joints to break down. So we're still a little, little firm. We're going to go another half hour. All right, it's an hour and a half. I can see the meat pulling away. That means we're done, so let's go ahead and plate this. Got a very mild flavor. I've never had a rabbit actually be gamey. And there we go, just falling right off. That's good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my um, April Camp Lions Challenge. Catch and cook, rabbit stew. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching.